Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to look at car safety, so let's get started. Now when we looked at Newton's three laws of motion, we saw that seat belts could be explained using Newton's first law but also Newton's third law. It says here that in addition to seat belts, cars have airbags and crumple zones which act as safety features in the event of a crash. So we're going to look at airbags and then we'll look at crumple zones, but we'll see that both of them work in a very similar way. So airbags first of all are found in the steering wheel and in front of the passenger seat in a vehicle. They rapidly inflate then quickly deflate when a vehicle experiences a sudden impact or rapid deceleration. And the way they work is by increasing the time taken for a person's head to decelerate to rest, i.e. slow down, on impact with the steering wheel, thereby reducing the average force exerted on the person's head and therefore this decreases the chance of injury. So if you look at the picture here, the airbag in the steering wheel has been activated in the event of a crash, and you can imagine the soft nature of this material of the airbag is going to cause the person's head to slow down over a longer time than if the airbag wasn't there at all, if their head was just smacking off the steering wheel or the dashboard. So we're increasing the time taken for the person's head to slow down, but that has the benefit of reducing the average force exerted on the person, and that's going to be the thing that saves lives. Similarly, we have crumple zones, and these are found at the front and back of a vehicle. So you'll see here we have the front crumple zone and rear crumple zone. It says that they are designed to crush in a controlled way during a collision. And it says similar to airbags, they work by increasing the time taken for the vehicle to decelerate to rest on impact, thereby reducing the average force exerted on the passengers and therefore decreasing the chance of injury. So it's doing the exact same two things, increasing the time taken for the vehicle to slow down and therefore reducing the average force. So that is again going to help save lives. Now of course modern vehicles these days combine all of these safety features, airbags, seatbelts and crumple zones to try and prevent or minimise injury in the event of a collision. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful, if you did, give it one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.